Stephanie, another group of people were causing quite a lot of disruption yesterday. Oh. They've been doing so for days. They decided to sort of uh, take up stock at the, uh, the Houses of Parliament mm. as well. But also turning up at Madame Tussauds. Who are they? What were they oh, doing? Oh, my gosh. It is the Just Stop Oil activists, and they seem to be just reaping havoc all across the city. And their latest stunt was at Madame Tussauds yesterday, where they smeared cake over Prince Charles's face. Waxwork. And what I don't understand about this... Well, that's glad you clarify. <laughs> 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 yes, what I don't understand about this is King Charles is one of the most sustainable champions we have out there. He's always talking about climate change. change. So for them to do this, it makes no sense. And to be honest, I don't mind protesting. I'm all for it. But these stunts are not actually helping them at all. And I'm actually quite scared that it's going to soon lock down the way we can view art soon because security clearly needs to be increased for such places now. But mm. the, what they will say is they're just trying to get people talking about them. So they've got to do these stunts mm -hmm. to, to engineer some conversation. So they don't really care, I don't think, yeah. if it doesn't make sense which waxwork it was. They just want to be talked about. But to be honest, they are being talked about, but negatively. No one's actually thinking, oh, let me change my cause or let me become more sustainable. They're becoming a bit of a pain for people now. And Art is one of the places where you can actually just enjoy and switch off, and they're spoiling that experience for society at whole. It's interesting. We talked to one of the Just Up Oil protesters yesterday, who's yeah. a GP, oh. and he, you know, and he said, and he made a, you know, it's a really valid point. He said, "Why do you care so much about a Van Gogh painting? Is is that more important than saving the planet?" What I think is most important is people imposing their viewpoints on us in an act of cultural vandalism. These are priceless mm. works of art. You may not like them as a protest, but you have no right to desecrate them. That's the way of totalitarianism. I don't agree with you, therefore I'm going to vandalise something. That, that, that's what ISIS do. Mm. These people are cretins. That's for bringing the country to a stop mm. with, 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 by blocking the roads. That is a, that is a very uh, stark comparison you've made. You know, the paintings that have had soup thrown at them have been protected by glass, so it's more imagery than it is actual destruction. It's the, it's the same point. I don't agree with you, therefore I'm going to vandalise and desecrate. That's not the actions of somebody who's going to win hearts and minds. It's the act of a moron. Mm. That's what I think. And it doesn't help when you've got people like Sir Bob Geldof kind of egging them on now and getting more support to commit these acts at all. I think mm. they're just going about it the wrong way. And also now that Rishi is in power, these are the kind of issues that we can't just keep on sweeping underneath the carpet. Mm. You know, young people have a voice and they want to be talking about this or acting out on this. Well, I guess we're talking about them, though. We are. Yeah. We're talking about them.